Kuzangula and welcome to another episode of Face to Face. I'm Tintin Laden, your host. Get excited because I'm joined by Ugin Chodin, a versatile actress who has faced numerous cameras and is a first Bhutanese actress to work with Hollywood. So welcome to Face to Face. <laughs> Thank you Tintin. Thank you so much for having me here. I feel so honored. Thank you Bhutan today. So can you share us about how you got an opportunity to work with Hollywood? Because you are the uh, talk of the town, right? Everyone <laughs> wants to uh, know about that movie and I can see that all the people are uh, watching the short clips which were in YouTube. So tell mm -hmm. us about how you got an opportunity to work with them. Mm, actually, Du Nambari is a film directed by Deependra Namo. Mm -hmm. He's well known for his films like Gopi, Kampani, Chamaya Chapake and Du Nambari of course. Um, and uh, Du Nambari portrays uh, contemporary romance, comedy and uh, 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 social message. So it was back in the year 2019 when I was invited to Human Rights International Film Festival. There uh, they have invited me and when I went there I got a chance to screen my film Tang Phu Ding And after the screening of the film I happened to meet with the film director, mm -hmm. Dipindra Lama. Somehow he showed interest and, you know, like, uh, appreciation. He showed appreciation mm -hmm. to my film. And uh, I think that was the moment where the talk initially began. About, about the film, the film. Yeah. okay. So what does the title Dew Numbery mean? Dew Numbery means it's about two best friends. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, uh, actually the film is about... Uh, two best friends about relationship, it's a social drama and it's with a heavy social message. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you happen to watch movie there, I feel like sometimes I feel lucky, you know, mm -hmm. because um, this film, in this film, uh, I got chance to, you know, like uh, uh, put some scenes where the director requested me to, you know, wear our national dress. Mm -hmm. And also in one of the scenes, uh, I cooked our national uh, dish, emotatsi, and red rice. And also I have worn our national kira, you know, national dress. And also, like, in few scenes, I spoke our national language. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in the film, I am, like, Buddhist only. Mm -hmm. And, like, anyways, I don't want to name all the stories <laughs> here. But, uh, you know, like, I feel lucky to be associated with such good filmmakers, with such a big band of filmmakers in Nepal. And uh, my co-actors were so supportive of me. They were so welcoming, and I was always uh, on the set. I was center of attraction mm -hmm. because you know I create joke, and when I speak, they appreciate they appreciated the way I am, and they enjoyed whatever comes out of my mouth because it was funny for them. Mm -hmm. So like, um, yeah, it was kind so of. So it seems like, like you had created a lot of memories with them. Yeah, right? it was uh, the you know like the times I. The time I spent it, uh, I spent with them was one of the most memorable and impactful one. So, what difference do you see between our Bhutanese film industry and Hollywood? Uh, by the fact that our Bhutanese film industry is still growing in growing stage in every aspect, uh, whereas Nepal film industry is at a level much more high than Bhutan. Um, Starting from pre-production to post-production, mm. they, they do in detail. And I think it's due to the scale of production. And uh, ne the most significant difference I observed was starting from makeup mm. to, you know, like even the wardrobe. Everything is provided by the production house. Even, the, you know, like local transportation, mm. airfare. Everything is taken care of by production house and the payment is vast difference. I can, I can, you know, feel like in more, uh, in coming years, our Bhutan film industry will also like reach at a certain level. But as of now, I think Nepal film industry is doing great. For me, it's like, uh, you know, like dream coming true because I got a chance to act with such a superstar of Nepal film industry and, uh, that's all the differences and also the one major difference uh, I could uh, say is the language barrier and the costume that's all so talking about the movie so <coughs> tell us about your first impression on the co-workers that you worked with 
actually to work beyond the boundaries is not that easy mm. it's not a piece of cake everybody like um, who will not like to work uh, with superstars and mm. on international platform right and when i got the offer first at first i was not that confident because when i heard about my co co star mm. i was like oh my god <laughs> i'm going to add with this superstar and i felt you know like so nervous mm. at first but uh, when i you know like uh, met with him we talked about the film script he made me feel so comfortable you know he was so down to earth the hang lai his good name is the hang lai so the impression was good so uh, can you tell us about your role in that movie <laughs> <laughs> my role is kind of you know like it's interesting one i am like uh, i acted as i am <laughs> I I actually I really worked hard on my uh, script on my character because it's an international platform mm -hmm. and as an actor I feel like uh, when you get the when you get the opportunity you shouldn't miss it right mm -hmm. and people should like uh, I should make them believe that oh this business actress yeah she, she can do it you know because they told me like uh, since today uh, till today a lot of other actresses you know from maybe from like bollywood and other asian actresses mm -hmm. they came to uh, nepali film industry they worked in few films and they and nowhere they disappeared you know mm -hmm. they vanished from the industry so a lot, lot of media they asked me about that and also with my director told me if you work hard in this project you will get a lot of other mm -hmm. you know like uh, projects so i really worked hard uh, i you know like uh, try to get in the character you know my character was such a actually it's a normal one religious girl mm -hmm. uh, who visits nepal for some reason you know um the story start with it starts with me and ends with me actually so i prepared myself mentally and physically you know i kept my makeup minimal and even my wardrobes you know i consulted with the director and i told him okay ugen's character is like this so i have to prepare like this you know i have to uh, sometimes they gave me bright colors to wear but as per my character i had to wear you know like simple and you know like i was traumatized since young because my parents mm -hmm. were dead in the uh plane crash in nepal so that's why i i was visiting nepal. nepal yeah so that's why i really worked hard on my character and so i can't you know tell everything just now but um, that's all so uh now let's talk about your childhood right mm -hmm. so have you always wanted to be an actor when you were small Uh, to be honest i never dreamed to be an actress because uh, i'm from a normal family and i don't have anyone in bhutan film industry and you know it was not my thing i wanted to become journalist mm -hmm. somehow i landed here and today i look back i'm happy and i would like to take this chance to thank my director talop kunchu and producer pim sreen for and my parents for believing in me when nobody did because of them today I'm here <laughs> but uh, was your parents and your family supportive when you started your journey as an actress yes of course yes of course my father is backbone of what I am today you know uh actually to be an, to be an actress is not a easy mm -hmm. it's not a easy task we have to face a lot of criticism we have to take all of you know a lot of things so we need moral support financial support as well in bhutan we get very less paid so we can't uh, run our house you know we can't uh, the money which we get from the producers can't uh, you know cover everything mm -hmm. so it's really important to have uh, to get your uh, parents support and also in my case my parents were very supportive my father is one of the producers he always produce when i don't get offers from others mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he he you know always um, uh, you know plan to make a film and uh, he he says you know why can't you make our your own film why can't you direct your own film because uh, even if you act in other movies you can't get well paid Uh, with this we wrap up this episode of face to face so before that uh, do you have any message to the youth watching us right now um you all have seen our you know red carpet 
our you know like uh, film fairs and uh, late night shoots interviews only good stuff but behind the camera we have different lifestyles we have our own struggle and we have our you know like internal and external struggle but uh, once you are an actor you are kept in front of the cameras you know and just a lot of sometimes a lot of things are happening in your life but still you have to act normal and that is toughest thing to be an actress so a lot of people give up acting career career because it's tough i don't deny that it's tough but um, i would like to say don't quit because uh, if you don't quit you will become the actor that you wanted to be so I feel proud of myself today because I didn't give up and I'm here. So I request you all to work hard with full of dedication and commitment. To succeed in life, you have to work hard with full of dedication and hard work. So thank you so much for your time today. That was a really wonderful chat with you. Thank and you. Uh, to the viewers, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our page. I'll see you all next week.